Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello everyone, I am back to continue with the topic ratio and proportion. In our last lesson, we answered one question from exercise 111 from the Pupis book. Question one, exercise 111, question six. Today, I want us to answer question number 13 of the same exercise and the question I have it on the board. This question I gave you as a practice question in our last lesson. I hope you have done this question. In this lesson, I'm going to work it out here on the board. The question reads as follows. The area of two squares are in the ratio 9 to 16. If the area of the smaller square is 36 centimeters squared, what is the total area of the two squares? What is the total area of the two squares? Here is the answer. Learners, step number one, put down the formula. The question is area, total area of the two squares. So the total area of the two squares is equal to area of the smaller square plus area of the larger square. The total area of the two squares will be equal to the area of the smaller square plus the area of the larger square. We are told that uh, if the area of the smaller square is 36 centimeters squared, so the area of the smaller square is 36 centimeters squared, but we are not provided with the area of the larger square. This is unknown. So we're going to work out the area of the larger square. Then we'll add it to the area of the smaller square to get the area of the two squares. We're going to have working. And we are going to use our knowledge of ratios to determine the area of the larger square. We learn that uh, we read that the area of two squares are in the ratio 9 to 16. The ratio of the two squares is 9 to 16. 9 represents the ratio for the smaller square and 16 the ratio for the larger square. Learners, if the area of the smaller square is 36 centimeters squared, then what will be the area for the larger square? So 9 represents 36 cubic squared. Therefore, 16. 16 will be equal to, we get the reciprocal, that is 16 over 9 times 36 cubic, I mean uh, square, uh, square centimeters. 9 goes here once, 9 goes here four times. Therefore, the area of the larger square will be equal to 16 times 4, 
which is equal to uh, 64 centimeter square. So the area of the larger square is 64 centimeter square. So this is equal to 64 centimeter square. Therefore, the total area of the two squares will be equal to 36 centimeter squared plus 64 centimeter squared. 36 plus 64, this is equal to 100 centimeter squared. 100 centimeter squared. Did you get the answer? If you got it, mark correct. 100 centimeter square. So learners, that will mark the end of our today's lesson. We've answered question number 13 from the pupils book. It's your turn to continue uh, exercising. I want you to go and do question number 14. For those of you who do not have this book, I write the question here on the board. Exercise 111, question number 14. The question reads, the width or, and the length of a rectangle are in the ratio 3 to 4. If the length of the rectangle is 20 centimeters, what is A, the perimeter of the rectangle, B, the area of the rectangle? Make sure you do the question before attending our next lesson. Bye-bye.